Hey guys, sorry for the long delay on this video. A lot of things happened, kind of like that set me back from making this video, but I'm here now and I'm really excited to answer some of your guys' questions. First question. <laughs> this question is by Sally Wheeler. <laughs> sorry, this one's pretty good. Would you rather have fingers for eyelashes or eyelashes for fingers? Um, Probably fingers for eyelashes because one, I could like keep playing instruments and stuff and whenever I would blink, it would like clap and that would be pretty awesome. Uh, second question is by Madeline Jade. W. What is your favorite song to play and sing on your guitar? Um, well, I love to play. I love to play Give Me Love by Ed Sheeran on my guitar. That's that's probably my favorite one. This question is by It's Ritz. Um, when did you first start singing and playing the guitar? Uh, well, according to my parents, I've been singing since I was like three, um, but I've been playing guitar since I was six years old. This question is by Sierra Marlene. Who is one person or band that you would love to have a songwriting session with? Um, if it were one person, I would love to have a songwriting session with uh, Chance the Rapper, because he's <laughs> he seems like he'd be fun. Um, and I'd love to have a writing session with the 1975. So yeah. This question is by Super underscore Llama 2001. Hands for feet or feet for hands? What is it with replacing body parts now? Probably hands for feet, because then I could like grab stuff with my feet, and that'd be pretty cool. This question is by Callie.Jacobs. Have you ever tried to sing hardcore rock? I have sang hardcore rock before. I was in a band when I was 11, and I, I like only sang hardcore rock music, so yeah, I have. This one's by Chloe Bateman. What's your favorite thing to binge watch? Probably The Office. That's a fun show to binge watch. <laughs> this question is by Ian Gray Updates. Can you do the splits? No, no, I cannot do the splits, nor will I show you, because that's just gonna hurt and be embarrassing. And it's going to be on the internet forever, and I will become a meme. So no, I'm not going to show you. This question is by S. Sweetatoe. Do you put ranch on your pizza? No. Ugh. No, I don't put ranch on my pizza. And pfft, I don't know why my hair became really emo, but that's how I feel about ranch on pizza. I don't. I don't like it. This question is by Kenzie.mcc. Milk, cho uh, milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Um, milk chocolate, because dark chocolate is gross. This question is by Genessa220. This question is by Gene Nessa 233 Do you travel a lot? Yeah, I do. Um, I fly a lot uh, by myself just because I have family um, in Texas and I live in California, so I fly back and forth all the time. <laughs> this question is by Gravy is Trying. Nice name, by the way. What instrument did you start on? I actually started on the piano. Um, I took piano lessons when I was five, but my piano teacher quit and moved to a different city. Don't know why. It took a toll on my emotional health when I was five. But I started piano when I was five, but after my piano teacher quit, uh, I just my dad taught me how to play piano. This question is by Valerie K. Moore. What song makes you smile uncontrollably? Uh, Morning in America by John Bellion. That's an amazing song with funny lyrics. And that song, I, I always smile when that song's on. This question is by Kiana Osborne. First song you learned on guitar? The first song I learned on guitar is a song called Zombie by Cranberries. Or by the Cranberries. I don't know if it's just Cranberries. This question is by Natalie Jasmine underscore. What's something you're really bad at but wish you were good at? Probably like math. I'm, I'm awful at math because I know a lot of useless information. Like ask me any facts on like bees, I will give you all the facts. But math, I cannot remember a single formula and apparently it's useful in life. I haven't done it in actual real life stuff yet, only in school. So this question is by underscore Jada underscore Riley underscore. Do you ever get really bad voice cracks during a singing video and have to start all over? All the time. Yes, that happens all the time. And there, there could be like 40 takes of like a little 15 second video that I post on Instagram. And the majority of them are ruined by a voice crack. So yes, I don't, whoa, my hair got really emo there, but that's okay. This question is by Carnegie underscore Juilliard underscore actress. Do you like poetry? Yes, I do like poetry. I really do. I think some poetry is really cool. This question is by Liz Lawlin. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Sorry. Um, which 21 Pilots lyric slash song means the most to you and why? Uh, probably the song Slow Town by 21 Pilots because I can relate to that a lot. A lot of my family's growing up and doing things and I'm in California and I, I can't see them or hang out with them. So like the song Slow Town talks about things moving too fast and slow, we need to like slow it down. So 
Yeah, I can relate to that. This question is by Janitza.Luna. How would you describe the word emo? Well, I've done this a lot in a video, but I think I would describe the word emo as like, just like this. You don't need words, really. It's just, it, the, the word is described physically, and I think this is a good definition for emo, so yeah. <laughs> this question is by WTVR Danielle. Favorite song that you've wrote? Probably Cole. I was really happy with that one. Um, I put a lot of effort into that song, so um, my favorite song that I've written is Cole. What is your inspiration for the song Mother? <sighs> well, um, Mother is, is pretty self-explanatory, um, but it's not about my mom. That's what everyone thinks, and I get why everybody thinks that, but um, Mother is not about my mom. I love my mom very much. Mother is about uh, something else, um, but I made a promise a long time ago that I never reveal the meanings to any of my songs it's kind of left for interpretation. So you find a meeting to mother. This question is by Grace Aaron. Do you always do things for a reason and why? Um, that's a really good question. Um, and yes, I do, especially with music. Um, a lot of people do just random things in their songs just because it's artsy or it, or it sounds cool. But I try to do things for reasons. Like I try to have a reason for everything that I do just because it, so it means something. So it has some sort of meaning that anyone can take for themselves. This question is by Blue Smooches 18 Scariest experience? Oh. Oh, I have a scary experience. My scariest experience was when I was on a plane because I fly all the time. I was on a plane coming back from Texas. And usually when I'm on a plane, I'll just like pull the tray open and fall asleep on the tray because I probably didn't get enough sleep the night before. But I was I was sleeping on the tray as I normally do. Um, it, was, it, was, it was at nighttime. Everything was dark. The plane was dark. But I woke up because somebody accidentally hit my tray because I had to grab onto the handles of their seats. And the reason they were grabbing onto the seats is because the plane like stalled for, for a straight 15 seconds. Everyone was freaking out. Everyone was yelling. And I woke up and the second I woke up, because we were kind of stalling, both of my ears popped and it hurt really, really bad. So I woke up, I couldn't really hear anything. I was freaking out, the plane was stalling. You could like feel gravity going away. I was, I was terrified. I cried, I cried, yeah. Yeah, that's my scariest experience. But on that note, I'm gonna end this video here. This was a lot of fun. I love reading your guys' questions, um, but let me know in the comments if you want me to do some more of these videos. I love them, um, but let me know. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.